Right now, convention confusion. Five Star Veterans Memorial Arena, quiet tonight, but it could have thousands of people coming in late August. We're once again back to waiting to see whether the Republican National Convention will be held in Jacksonville. This morning, many people thought it was all but a done deal. Now Republican leaders are hedging on that declaration. The day started with a Washington Post article saying that Jacksonville is the front runner for the RNC, where President Trump will be officially nominated by the party. Yeah, the day ended, though, with Republican leaders stopping short of saying the River City will be the site. While the decision isn't due until the end of the week, the News for Jack's team is already looking at the possibilities and what it would mean for the city. Scott Johnson joining us live downtown where we could see tens of thousands of people in late August. Scott? Kent, this would likely be the spot where everyone would congregate downtown here at the arena. But as you said, Republican leaders nationally not saying definitively yet that Jacksonville is definitely the spot. The day started with the Washington Post headline, GOP expects to move its convention to Jacksonville after dispute with North Carolina over pandemic safeguards. Then multiple media outlets followed suit. So short of a formal announcement, it appears Jacksonville is the front runner for the RNC, something former Mayor John Delaney feels will be good for the city. He was mayor when Jacksonville was named host city for the Super Bowl in 2005. Having that many people in town, restaurants have struggled, hotels have struggled, and it's, it's, it would help th those kind of businesses. Tonight, a lot of voices are weighing in. This is a quote from RNC Chairwoman Rona McDaniel during a radio interview. These reports are definitely premature and adding, we are going to keep our convention of the business of the convention in Charlotte. That is for sure. It's going to be smaller and scaled down. It is a moment for Jacksonville to shine before the nation and the world and for us to demonstrate what Republican governance looks like. But not everyone is showing support. Look at this tweet from City Councilwoman Brenda Priestley Jackson. According to the Supervisor of Elections website, Democrats are 264,198, the majority of registered voters in Jack Stuval. Republicans are 225, 268. She goes on, so why is the RNC invited to Jack's? It's not good for us. Another issue we're looking at is whether Jacksonville can handle this crowd. I reached out to visit Jacksonville. They tell me since 2005 Super Bowl, Jacksonville has added 43 new hotels. And officials in Charlotte, some are complaining, not happy. They had planned for the convention, the big portion of the convention, which they're talking about putting here in Jacksonville, to be up there. And they could lose out on millions of dollars of local revenue to businesses up there. Some are saying if they move to Jacksonville, it's a violation of some contracts with the RNC. We are live tonight downtown. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station.